solving for pH, pOH, H3O, and OH concentration values of acids and bases. For the problem, calculate the pH, pOH, HO, H3O plus, and OH negative for a solution of NaOH with a molarity of 0.000056 molar. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a chart to simplify our actions. This chart includes the pH, the H3O plus concentration in brackets, the pOH, and the OH negative concentration in brackets. Now we're going to convert the molarity to scientific notation by moving the decimal to create a ones digit. So for the value 0 0.000056 molar, we are going to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places, giving us a value of 5.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. Because this is an NaOH solution, a hydroxide solution, we know that this value must be the OH value in the chart. Now that we have the OH value for the concentration from the molarity of NaOH, we are going to convert the OH concentration to pOH, the per hydroxide value. This will be done by taking the negative log value of the concentration. In our calculator, we will use negative log 5.6 exponential negative 5, which comes out to a value of 4.25. This will be our pH value. Now that we have the pOH value, we can convert that to our pH value. We will do this by using the equation pH plus pOH equals 14. So therefore, 14 minus the pOH will give us the pH value. 14 minus 4.25 gives us a pH value of 9.75. Now that we have the pH value, we can convert this to our H3O plus concentration, the molarity of the H3O plus value, by taking the anti-log of the negative value of the pH. And so on our calculator, second log of negative 9.75 equals a value of 1.78 times 10 to the negative 10. So for the problem, with a molarity of 0 0.000056 molar for the NaOH molarity, we get a value of 9.75 for the pH, 1.78 times 10 to the negative 10 for the hydronium concentration, 4.25 for the pOH, and 5.6 times 10 to the negative fifth for the hydroxide concentration. If we look at that same type of problem dealing with an acid, in this case we are using HNO3 nitric acid at a molarity of 0 0.0032. Again, we begin with our chart with the pH, the pOH, the H3O plus concentration, and the OH minus concentration. We will begin by changing the concentration of the molarity to the scientific notation by moving the decimal three places, giving us a value of 3.2 times 10 to the negative third. Now, this goes in the H3O plus concentration. So our concentration of hydronium ions is 3.2 times 10 to the negative three. From this point, we are going to convert the hydronium concentration to pH. We do this by negative log of the hydronium concentration. On our calculator, this looks like negative log times 3.2 exponential negative 3, which gives us a value of 2.49. This is our pH value, which we are going to convert to pOH using the equation pH plus pOH equals 14. We rearrange the equation, 14 minus the pOH to give us the pOH, so 14 minus 2.49 gives us a value of 11.51. This is our pOH value. 
we now can convert our pOH value to our hydroxide concentration. We will do this using the anti-log of the negative pOH to get the hydroxide concentration. This goes second log, negative 11.51, to get a value of 3.09 times 10 to the negative 12. There are some things that will tell us that this is correct. First of all, the pH value of 2.49, the 2 will always be one less than the exponential value of the hydronium, which is negative 3. The 11.51, the 11 will be one value less than the negative 12 exponential of the hydroxide. Also notice that the exponential value negative 3 and the exponential value of negative 12 add up to 15. If this it holds true, you know you have done your calculations correctly. 